hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by please click in on one of my videos hello and welcome if you're an old subscriber thank you for your usual support that you've been giving me and if you're a new subscriber welcome to the family we are almost at 300 subscribers i thank you all for the support that you have been giving me so today i'm going to be telling you tips for like tips for new youtubers and how to grow your channel like things i wish i knew before starting my youtube channel that i don't that i want you people to know you new youtubers so it will be useful for you yeah so let's get right into the video number one thing i wish i knew is i wish somebody told me that youtube was youtube was so time consuming and tedious like it's so it's so tedious creating content is not beans at all like so people just think sitting in front of a camera is like you know very easy and all that no sitting in front of a camera creating content and being creative is not easy at all so yeah it's time consuming and tedious it's good for you to know now because some people just venture into starting a youtube without knowing the you know the work behind it the tediousness behind it so yeah youtube is tedious and time consuming you should know that when you know that then you can forge ahead the second thing i wish i knew before starting my youtube channel is my god youtube sub is quite different from instagram followers like your instagram followers are and your youtube sub are not the same thing at all like they are completely different things you might have um a hundred thousand subscriber on um like a hundred thousand subscriber on your youtube and have like 500 um instagram followers the two apps are quite different like they are both like search okay no no yeah they are social media apps and they are quite different in their function and their algorithm their growth yeah so yeah that's another thing i noticed that instagram and youtube subs instagram follow and youtube subs are entirely different things yeah another thing another thing i noticed about um youtube that i didn't know before was that views is entirely different from watch time like when somebody just clicks on your video yeah it automatically gives you views but watch time is the like the amount of time it took for the person to like stay and watch the video like watch it and watch time can be in minutes and in hours so in youtube you actually need 4000 watch hours to actually get your you know youtube check or whatever it's called to get monetized yeah and my sister that is not beans at all like it's a very very it's a very very long way like hard work for you to actually achieve that but for some people it can be easy peasy depending on how you grew we all have diff our different ways of growing on on youtube so yeah that's another thing i wish i was told by starting my youtube channel is that the use of um, other people's songs most especially nigerian songs are not allowed on youtube like you get copyrighted for it because it's not your music so Whenever your video actually gets gets monetized, you don't actually get to like reap the fruit of your labor, like I would say, because yeah, you won't be able to reap the fruit of your labor, and that person will get the money instead of you, and it will actually slow your monetization process. Moving on to tips that will grow your channel, the first tip I have is do things you're passionate about like if you're good at another thing i've seen or i've learned on youtube is that nobody owes you shit like nobody owes you 
you know getting your first hundred subscribers might seem so easy and all that yeah your family and friends subscribe for you yeah but moving to the next stage like achieving 1000 subscribers is a long way like long long hard work you have to put in hard work yourself and be consistent you know yeah that's what i've learned from youtube nobody owes you shit like you don't expect that yeah i'm being nice to this person so this person has to subscribe to my channel hell no they don't owe you shit like they don't owe you shit skincare go for skincare videos if you're good at fashion videos go for fashion videos if you're good at beauty contents makeup stuff you should do it don't go for um <clears throat> my favorite youtuber does makeup i also do makeup you no know, we all have our different fields that we're good at you should stick to your own niche your whole niche might be fashion you might be good at fashion related content you might be good at content creation content so you just have to stick to your balls like the one you're good at so that's basically the next tip i have is you have to create quality content like quality content not quantity like when you create good quality content people want to watch your videos they want to subscribe to your channel and that's the basis for you to grow on your youtube another thing i noticed is that yeah you need to like set your camera to like um hd depending on your phone 720 1080 4k yeah you have to shoot your videos in that quality when you are using a phone when you're using a phone yeah i think phones nowadays have hd quality settings that you can actually set it to before recording your videos so that's basically it you don't have to rob a bank before starting a youtube channel you don't have to get the best camera in the world the best lightning in the world before you start your youtube channel you can start on the little you have like diy your stops like i started with a tripod no i just started not having a tripod stand nothing at all i mean now currently i'm using my um phone to shoot my videos my iphone 7 phone to shoot my videos so guys that's basically it when you want to like if you're looking for a height to like fix your phone on you can make use of a small tripod it's not expensive you can manage that and if you think you can't afford the tripod yet you can get or uh, you can stack books together and you know to fall on the heights you want and you can shoot your view perfectly yeah the next tip i have is never ever shoot your pic um videos in um portrait mode portrait mode be when you set your video to shoot for portrait mode that should be for your igtv videos like styling videos on igtv but youtube videos the setting is landscape so your phone should be on landscape mode let me show you on illustration this object is on landscape mode this way but when you put it your phone is this way then it is in portrait mode which means portrait mode is for IGTV videos you can shoot your IGTV videos when your phone is this way but your YouTube video should be short when your phone is this way I hope you guys understand so yeah I know another thing that you should take note of is while editing your videos you should try as much as possible to invest your time in editing videos learn more about editing like um the, the editing apps I use currently, I use iMovie on my phone. iMovie is a, like a very good app, editing app for iOS users. And if you're using a MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro is actually best for YouTube. But if you're just starting out and you're using a Windows like I do, you can use your Windows Movie Maker or Filmora app 9 for editing your videos. and my god trust me those apps are good for your youtube videos then with time you can actually upgrade and get a mac blah 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 yeah so the thing i noticed is people don't have passion for what they do and tend to like you know start and you know within a week they forget about it youtube is not about like my friend is doing youtube i should start youtube too you need like a, you need 
passion for you to move on and be consistent because you being on youtube is not easy especially as a nigerian youtuber there are so many factors that work against you um factors like electricity um network issues stuff like that but then you need to have passion for what you're doing when you have passion for what you're doing then you be consistent and you strive more and then you get there so that's basically it for today um those are the tips i have for new youtubers that want to grow their channel so if you think this is a good if you think this is a video you want to watch then please do me well if you think this video has helped you a lot please subscribe give it a thumbs up put your notifications on for more, for more videos on my channel put your notifications on click the subscribe button it won't take you just two seconds for you to do that yeah that's the subscribe button there and please if you watch my previous videos like i made a video on um top apps you should use as a content creator blogger social media manager i'll put the link down in my description box till next time i see you bye guys